sarap sana mag time out muli, di ba? But, you know, if, if, kung, kung basto sila, tayo hindi. I know a lot of people doubted this team after the time, the first time that we lost. But I didn't tell you the first words in the dugout after we lost. I said, this was the loss that we could afford. And I thought we needed that loss actually. So we just kept our focus and uh, here we are. Um, and you know, the players did a hell of a job. They stuck together. We played. We kept this team of what? Five Americans, five imports, six imports to below 70 points. That was great defense, man. So in the end, that was our defense that, that got us to, to this goal. Coach, that was Randy once again a believer when it mattered most. Talk about the effort niya at the time na nag-struggle siya to the Cambodia game to now. Yeah, well, we all know that in that Cambodia game, that wasn't the real Justin Brownlee. But when we had the real Brownlee, then, then you saw the result, right? Uh, we just wanted to make sure we knew we had the game to beat Cambodia, but we had to be able to play our game. And we were worried when we didn't have Calvin and we didn't have Justin. But if we knew that if we have everyone in, we have the team and the game to beat Cambodia. Coach, you said that uh, you came here to win the gold, and now that uh, you won the gold, let's see if you Oh, well. You know, I came here, I, I envisioned this, I visualized it, and, uh, you know, but I didn't make it happen. It was the players, the players who made it happen. It was their effort, their unwillingness to give, out, to give up, and in the end, um, sarap sana mag time out ng huli, di ba? But, you know, if, if, kung, kung basto sila, tayo, and then we, we, we play the game. We always talk about playing the game the right way. So. Coach, after the frustration in Vietnam in Hanoi, ngayon, mahal na mahal na kayo ng buong bansa, ng buong Pilipino. What is your thoughts on that? Well, sandali lang naman yan eh. The next time we lose, babaliktad na naman yan. So, sanay na ako dyan. That's, that's, part, of, that's part of the job. But, you know... Uh, Major adjustments in it. Well, I think nung tumagal, mas nasanay eh, players. Uh, unlike them, they're, they're very used to playing here. Eh. Sana na sila yung maglaro sa dito. Tayo, nung tumatagal, lalong tumatagal, lalo tayong nasasama. So, How big is this win? Uh, personally, para sa'yo, gano'ng kalaki ito para sa'yo? Personally? Well, win or lose, this was my last Southeast Asian Games. I, I, I promise I'll never, uh, I'll never coach here in the SEA Games anymore. So, at least I was able to go out with the gold medal. So, yeah, I think it's it's the Southeast Asian Games really is for, for our developmental team. It really has to be our younger players who should be playing here. Uh, I really that think that's what it what it this is for. So you know hopefully in the future we can get together earlier, put the team um, to compete in the next one in, in Thailand. Well, coach, you're, you're speaking as a as a project director, but you are the project director as well. Yeah, but I, but I think for the good of Philippine basketball, uh, I think this, this really, we really should bring younger players here for the South Asian Games. I don't, I'm not, I, I have no authority, of course, it's the SBP who's going to make that determination, but that, that's just my personal opinion. Well, you made decision? Yeah, whatever happens. Coach, how valuable the coach team Huge, very, very... Not only Coach Tim, Coach Josh and Coach Jong. I think we have an excellent uh, coaching staff, uh, Patrick Pertosa as well. Uh, I don't know, natulog pa kami kapo, 1, 1.30 na. We are, we're really, hinihimay talaga namin ng gusto yung video. We watched uh, their game against Thailand and then we watched our previous game so that in our film viewing at lunchtime today, then we have something to show uh, the players very specific, the things that that we wanted to make sure so uh, we were able to do things today that we were able na tinago natin in the first game we, uh, we did a lot of things today that we didn't show in the, in the in the elimination round and that was really by design we really came here with the plan that we're going to do things only reserve things only for the playoffs what, what did you find with letter of motion out after that last shot uh, 
Wala, ganun talaga. It's just emotion. It's happiness. It's uh, just uh, relief. For a job well done. Very, very happy for these guys. Happy for the Philippine Olympic Committee, for the PSC, SBP especially. Um, and very happy for the Filipino people. Um, all throughout, we kept asking the players what Puso means to you. Every player gave his own interpretation of what Puso is all about. And for me, Puso is all about our, our service to the country. I always say, you all know this is a very thankless job, right? But I still do it because this is the only way I know how uh, I can serve my country. I'm not a politician, I'm not a business tycoon. The only way I know to serve my country is by coaching the national team. So for me, that's what Puso is all about. Coach, you were mentioning that the young players were talking about Babad and Jerome as I told you about the stories. Your thoughts on Pangalan and Jerome? Well, there's a reason why he's here. There's a very specific role that we need him to play. Coach, how, how integral is this goal for your preparations for the World Cup? Uh, not, not too much in the overall scheme of things because this is a very different team from the World Cup team. Except, you know, just at least we get a reprieve from the people. At least I get some pe a, a reprieve from the people at least. What do you describe this team? Different. Different personalities, different stories, but only one heart, only one heart.